This is it, guys. The biggest game of the season so far. I've said that a few times, haven't I? But I really mean it. This is a cup final against Man City. It's going to be a tough one. The EFL Cup final. Any special plans? Well, I kind of want to win the game and score more goals than we concede. That'd be good. Um, we'll prepare as we always do. Again, I'm just seeing a trend of this. I'm not getting any morale from these press conferences ever, it feels like. I can't remember the last time I answered a question and it helped the squad morale. It's a little bit of a weird one, this. Is it bugged out? Have they just reduced how much of an effect it has? I don't know. Will the opposition be worrying about you? Uh, <laughs> there's not even like a yes. It's just we'll be in the mood. Yeah, all right, let's go with that one. Last question before the game kicks off. How can your team find consistency winning games? Uh, it's about confidence. Hey, look, we got some we got some morale. Get in there. Just a reminder, I haven't lost to Man City this season. We've played twice. I've had a draw and a win. How remarkable is that? When you consider how good their squad is, not just the first team, but the players they can bring off the bench. Honestly, I feel like Man City could put together a second team that would finish in the top four. Maybe even win the league. That is how good some of their subs and reserves are. It is ridiculous, isn't it? But here we are, guys, at Wembley Stadium. Arsenal have won the most games at Wembley than any other team in England, I'm pretty sure. More than Tottenham, and they had Wembley as their home stadium for almost two full seasons in the Premier League. How hilarious is that? So, looking at the Man City side, Ferran Torres, Jesus, Sterling, Bernardo Silva, Rodri, De Bruyne, oh my God. It is, as expected, a fully big, big lineup, full strength from Man City. For my lineup, it is my 4 3 3 with, with, of course, Martinelli missing. He is out injured for the next two months. So, for this game, I've gone with Pepe. Could have gone with Smith Rowe, but I've decided Pepe is the one for this game. Here is Bissouma. I'm going to pass that across to Erdegaard, who's got a very, very big role to play here. Trying to split those lines, the passes, get him through the defence of Man City to try and get Aubameyang in behind, who starts up top. Here's Tierney. Pepe's in. I think he might be offside. I knew he was. I thought I'd go for the shot, because why not? Okay, not a bad start, though. Do you guys remember, I think it was the first time we played against City. Jeez, that was close. Uh, Mendy was playing. And I said how Mendy should be removed from the game because of what's going on in real life. Oh dear, Tommy Assey, that was bad. Well, the good news is he has been removed from FIFA. So if you start a new career mode now, download the latest squads, Mendy won't be there. But sadly, he is still in my career mode. And the weirdest thing is he is starting as a centre-back in this game. I don't know why. I have no idea. They've got Laporte at right back with Mendy at left centre back. It doesn't make any sense, does it? But we do have a corner coming in from City now. Sterling's going to go short. It's taken long anyway. Ben White heads it out for Bernardo Silva. Got to be careful here. Ferran Torres. Hey! Straight to Ben. And now we push forward inside to Pepe. On that right side for Aubameyang. Can he win the header? No, Mendy's done well there, but I don't want to even say his name. I don't even want to talk about him anymore. Just letting you guys know that he has been removed from the game, which is the right thing. I wonder if they've done that with Sigurdsson as well. I hope they have. Wait, they've got Cancelo on the left. So why isn't Cancelo playing as the right back? Mendy is the left back and Laporte as the centre back. Oh, we're 1-0 down. Who cares, Matt? I've just got to beat who's in front of me and I'm losing. For God's sake. It was always going to happen. City were going to score against me. Wouldn't it be typical that out of the three games I play against them this season, the one game I lose is the one I really want to win. The final of a cup. Let's not let that become a reality. We've still got plenty of time. Oh, my. And I've just passed it straight back to them. Incredible, Matt. Incredible. Well done, Tierney. Oh, my. Almost lost it. They are all over me at the moment. 
really struggling to contain their midfield and their front three as well. It's ridiculously good. Well done, Gabriel. Unfortunately, still finds its way to a City player and it's going to be another corner. Interesting how they've got Ferran Torres up front with Jesus on the right wing. Again, it's just the wrong way round. And it's 2-0. Every time I talk about the lineup, they score. <laughs> just shut up, Matt. I cannot believe we're losing this 2-0. Wembley is meant to be a great place for Arsenal and Arsenal fans. Today, it is just not going to plan, is it? The corner comes in. Look how easy it was. 2-0 down. How long? 34 minutes in. Oh, dear. I'm getting the same vibes that I had in... Was it the last episode against Chelsea? I had to change things at half-time. I think I'm going to have to do that here as well because right now this isn't working unless we can find something here. Cross comes in for Saka. Cancelo wins it. Aubameyang. Decent strike. I think we'll wait until half-time. If I'm going to make some changes, I'll wait till then. But as it stands right now, I've got no hope of winning this game. Maybe if that goes in, I'll be feeling a bit more confident. But it was, it was most likely going to be saved, wasn't it? Edison is incredible in goal. Jesus now. Well done. Tierney's intercepted it. Pepe up to Aubameyang. And I really didn't mean to do it like that. But hey, can't have everything in life, can you? Here we go. Cancelo getting forward now. Sterling. De Bruyne. Ferran Torres. And it's almost 3-0. Ramsdale saving it. Corner coming in. Ben White's there. And Pepe's nowhere near the ball. That's unlucky. Get a tackle in if I can. He's just absolutely roasted me there, hasn't he? Yeah, this isn't going to plan at all, guys. It's going to be three. Oh, Ramsdale again. Oh, my God. Do I change it now? <laughs> With one minute of extra time? No, we're going to wait till the halftime whistle. Just clear this one out, please. Come on. Blow the whistle, ref. Do it. Please, no. Not De Bruyne. Yes, Erdegaard. No! <sighs> I, I can't believe this is happening. I cannot believe this is happening. We are crumbling at Wembley here. It just isn't a penalty. At least it's very soft. Okay, the last two penalties, I've gone right and they've shot to the left. So today, I'm going right. Watch them shoot to the left. Hey! It worked this time. It had to. I almost went left and then it would have been the opposite. So... Very pleased. And we will make it to halftime with just the 2-0 deficit, which is still workable. We can do something here, but I am going to have to change things up. Once again, it is Erdegaard. He is the player that has to be sacrificed so Maitland-Niles can come on. I'm going to use the 5-2-3 default formation. Normally, I do like a little custom one. Let's just see how this plays. We're going to have Partey and Bissouma in midfield. Aubameyang will stay up front, but it could be that Lacazette shall be required at some point. I don't know. Pepe is still going to be on the left side. Let's see how we get on. It hasn't even made a difference, this system change. I still can't get it close to them. The Man City team are just up for it today. And I have I been lucky in the last two appearances against City where I've just been able to somehow not lose? Because right now, geez, <laughs> it's not... It's not going well at all. Jeez, Ramsdale, are you okay? He got absolutely flattened there. All right, let's hit them on the break. Let's see if we can do something. Here is Aubameyang. I've had to take a touch backwards, and I've given it back to Man City. Yeah, whatever. It ain't going to happen today, guys. The EFL Cup final is not going to be going home to the Emirates, the trophy, I mean. It's going to be going to the Etihad, unfortunately, by the looks of it. Sounds a bit defeatist, but I just... I don't feel like I can do anything in this game at all. It's just too, it's too easy for them. It is too easy. 3-0 to City. One of the most embarrassing defeats of the season. This is worse than the Tottenham game because of the occasion. We've absolutely bottled it. Why did we have to get Man City? Why? It just had to be, didn't it? And why... Did I not just lose to them in the league once so I could get a win here? I had to use up my uh, my luck, didn't I, beforehand? Damn. At the end of the day, it is the EFL Cup. It's not the biggest trophy of them all, but I would have loved to have won today. 
but it's definitely not going to happen now. There is little point in me even trying, but uh, we can try at least... No. <laughs> I was going to say try and make it respectable, but we, we can't even have a shot at this rate. Absolutely dominated by Man City today. This game is screaming out for a player like Martinelli, but he wouldn't have won us the game. I'm not trying to say that him being injured has ruined it for us. Of course not. It's just the kind of game where I'd love Martinelli to be running in. Oh, Aubameyang's in. Can he score? No. Straight at the keeper. What am I doing? What am I doing in front of goal? How am I not finishing that? Look at Tierney go. Still going. Unbelievable from him. Future captain. Cross comes in for Bukayo Saka. Did he just flick that with his right foot? I'm done with this match. I am absolutely done with that. What is Saka doing? Flicking it when he's got an incredible left foot. Why isn't he just slamming that one right at the goal? I, I don't know. I have no idea. Just hilarious, really, isn't it? Can we get one goal? Here we go. Pepe might be in. Good touch. Just hit it, I guess. Oh, he's put it so far wide. Jeez, who are you aiming for? Is your family in the crowd? You just want to give them the ball? Oh, get me out of this game, please. And I thought I was doing all right on FIFA at the moment. Yeah, okay, a little bit inconsistent with results, but in general, playing all right. And then you just get a game like I did against Chelsea, a game like this against City, and everything comes crashing back to earth and reality hits home and you're like, oh yeah, I'm kind of bad. That was absolutely horrendous. But of course, we weren't ever going to quit this game. We're going to watch Man City lift the trophy. They deserve it. They were absolutely incredible, even with their weird lineup. Uh, it's, it, it is a strange one. I think EA seriously need to look into this. Every single year for the last few FIFAs, it, it, this happens. The wrong lineups does my head in, but uh, it didn't matter. They were still so, so good, and rightly so. They will be lifting probably the first of a couple of trophies this season. Have they improved any of these cutscenes? It looks exactly the same as previous FIFAs. Don't forget, this is the first time I've had... FIFA on next gen. I was hoping maybe there's some new cutscenes, but it, it looks the same. The game looks prettier though, so there's always that. This will be us soon, guys. We will lift a trophy soon. Not today, but maybe in the coming seasons. That will be most likely Tierney lifting an FA Cup or something like that. Or maybe a Premier League slash Champions League trophy at some point. Who knows? That is the ultimate goal. But as I said, not today. This definitely was not our day. Arsenal stuck in rut. Wow. It's a bit harsh. Are we doing that badly? I mean, I've still got a 61 manager rating, which is kind of bad. Uh, good news. Erdegaard has completed his training to central midfield. Now, I don't think I need to change his position because I believe he's already got that. Let me just double check. Um, but it might be a good idea to do it anyway. He might go up by one. So, yeah, look, he can already play as a central midfielder. And, of course, I'm only just going to put him back to Cam. Um, but I think I'm actually just going to do it anyway. Um, we've got some tournament prize money there. Whoa, 58 grand. That is incredible. Yeah, the EFL Cup really isn't that impressive, is it? But you, you still want to win it. You, you still want to get, um, get that trophy regardless. Let's go ahead and put Erdegaard into a different training drill. Where are you, Erdegaard? We've got so many players. After those three waste of time signings we made to try and complete that objective. So he hasn't gone up, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. We now convert him back to a cam, which is going to take two weeks. And then we can put him on a proper development plan, which is going to increase some of his other stats. I'd like to get him a little bit stronger if I can. So maybe, again, get him on like a, a physical training development plan I, I don't know we'll see what we can do so West Brom with the second team we should be good enough to get a result here Tavares Chambers Holding Mari all getting a start today with Xhaka captain in midfield Maitland Niles Laconga Smith Rowe and Ketia and Pepe this this is a good enough team it really is let's go ahead and get a sim win and it's a 1-0 sim win Pepe 53 minutes in we take those Good result because although the stats have gone our way, this is a game where you slip up. It can happen, so I'm happy to keep a clean sheet as well. Let's see if that has contributed to the objective 
And then we will get confirmation that it does work in all competitions. So let's go into office, objectives, and then brand exposure. No, it is home league matches. I didn't even know it said league. <laughs> there I am wondering about this for a few episodes now. It does say home league matches. I completely ignored that. So we need five more. How many more home games do we have? Eight, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six. You are kidding me. I've got six home games left. Five of those, I need clean sheets. I'm sorry, it ain't happening. It, it just isn't happening, is it? It's very unlikely. Looking at top scorers, Ronaldo is at the top there. Torres with 15. Unfortunately, Pepe has fallen outside the top eight. And here is the league table. We're one point behind Chelsea with a game to play. That's good. We could be going into fifth if we can beat Watford. For the first time, I can now look at my first team and see no exclamation marks. Tommy Yasu now fits in perfectly and so does Erdegaard. Of course, Martinelli still injured. Today, we're going to go with Smithrow out on that left side, but I've got him coming short, cutting inside, and that way he's kind of playing as a number 10, and that gives Tierney all that space down the left wing. Uh, and Ketia goes onto the bench as well. We might have use for him. I, I don't know if Nketia is ever going to really make it as one of my main strikers, but uh, with Martinelli out, why not give him a spot on the bench? Hopefully, this team will get the points today. Because that was a disappointing performance against Man City. We have to bounce back. I wonder if Ben Foster is feeling generous again today. If he's playing in goal, will he give us a, an easy goal? No, he's not playing. They've got a different goalkeeper in goal. No! To be fair, although that comedy goal that Ben Foster... You know, he made that mistake and we scored. Other than that, he was incredible on that, on that day. Oh, God. Almost gave it away to Saar already. So... I guess it's a good thing that Ben Foster isn't playing. Go on, have a shot. Go on. Oh, what a start from Smith Rowe. Great save from the new goalkeeper. I don't know who that is. Corner coming in. Gabriel's there. It is 1-0 already. Perfect start to the game. Gabriel gets... Is that his fourth goal of the season? It probably is. Maybe his third. Look at this delivery from Saka. Truly a world-class corner. Not very well marked, but look at the accuracy on that header. Get in there, lads. We need a big win here. Yeah, this isn't really what I want. Saar running down the right side. Oh, God. Now Gabriel's out of position. Don't let him give it back. That's offside. Yes, thank you very much. That's the real panic for me. Having Saar running at you, it's not a nice feeling. I know that firsthand because of being able to use him in the last FIFA. It was frightening how quick he was. Here is Saka. Going to go for it. I don't know why I'm shooting from there. Although it has worked a few times this season. It's, it's just not going to happen every time. I was better off passing it, I think. There we go. Saka's in again here. Over to Smith Rowe. First time shot. Oh, my. No one saw that. Look away, guys. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. And you can open them now. And it's a goal kick. I don't know what happened there. My game completely lagged out and... Yeah, I think Smith Rowe maybe hit the bar or something. Here he is again. Over the top for Obama Yang. He's in. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I haven't scored yet. Saka. There it is. There's the second goal we've been waiting for. And it is Saka. Goal and an assist. This kid. Little Chili. Star boy. Whatever you want to call him. The future of this football club. Beautiful. First touch. Opens it up. Bang. CLA to Watford. That's a beautiful pass from Basuma. We could get Saka in again here. Oh, it's gone to Aubameyang. But it, who cares? It's 3-0. This is game over already. Absolute decimation. You see, sometimes, guys, you need to lose a game badly because then all that anger builds up inside and then you just unleash it in the next game, especially if it's up against a team that you should be thrashing. Smith throw this time will get the assist and Aubameyang gets his goal as well. Well done, Tommy. Here's Smith throw. Bang it. Oh, when's he going to get his goal? It could be 4-0. It could even be 5-0. We've had so many opportunities. 
Gabriel's there. It is four. Gabriel gets another one. We are potentially going to score the most goals that we've scored in a game before half time. <laughs> this is ridiculous. What is going on with the Watford defence? Just have a look at some of the marking. It is absolutely abysmal. Gabriel just goes free. And he's, he's going to get that header on target nine times out of ten. And if the keeper's nowhere near it, it's going in. Simple as that. Are you Tottenham? Are you Tottenham? Are you Tottenham in disguise? <laughs> Although that was only 3-0 at half time. It looks like it will be four. I mean, to be fair, we've still got over five minutes left in this first half. Is there more to come? Saka over the top for Aubameyang. There's no way he's on. He is. He's onside. Is it five? No. For once, the keeper's actually saved it. Is it going to be a hat-trick for Gabriel? A hat-trick of headers from corners? Oh, it's going to Ben White this time. And that is not going to be the fifth goal. They do have a corner. Can they make it 4-1? Nope. Ramsdale is there. And that should be it for this first half. Unless, actually, maybe I can get another attack. No, cleverly he's intercepted that. You could say he intercepted that very cleverly. Really, Matt? I, I do wonder what... Wait, what? Did you see that? No, the ball just floated next to Saar. What was that? Hey, eh? What game am I playing right now? I'm sorry. Is Saar a magician? He's chested it down. It's gone through his neck. Okay, now I'm going to say this right now. If he scores, I'm calling scripting. Because that is not right. Oh my god, he almost did. <laughs> he almost did. He doesn't want me to jump to result. He, want, he wants the pain. He wants the 5-0 defeat. And there's another chance gone. Game done. It, it, it is. It's done. I might as well make a couple of changes. Oh my god, Aubameyang's down to 83. Oh, that's not what you want to see. I'll leave him on. I'm going to rest Saka and bring on Pepe. They are the same rating now, which is crazy. I'm going to rest Bissouma and bring on Lokonga. And let's rest Tomiyasu and bring on Maitland-Niles. Just like that. And then we will jump to result. Is it going to stay 4-0? It does. Wait, my subs didn't even happen. What? I guess I need to resume game and then jump to result. But guys... This was finished after 31 minutes, let alone the 4-0 after 35 minutes. One of our best performances of the season so far in just 45 minutes. We've bounced back from that City game, that's for sure. And it's another three points. And it's a clean sheet. Shame it's not at the Emirates. Wow, we got a nice draw. In the FA Cup, we have Coventry in round six. Let's have a look and see who we could have been facing, just out of interest. Because normally I feel like I get really bad draws. I feel like I always get the tough teams. Let's see who we avoided. We could have had Everton, Fulham, Leicester, West Ham, Aston Villa, Spurs. Uh, is that it? That is it, isn't it? This is the quarterfinals. So we got the best draw at home against Coventry. This should be a very winnable game. Once again, guys, we go with the second team. We do a quick sim and this should be a big result. And 2-1. I mean, obviously, I'm happy we've won the game and we go through. But really? 2-1 against Coventry City. We should be doing a little bit better there. But uh, it doesn't matter. The good news is Smith Rowe has scored again. We need him to keep playing well. Martinelli being out means he gets more time. Uh, Aubameyang came on and scored within a minute, doing more than Nketiah. Good result, but probably could have been better, couldn't it? Erdegaard is now back to Cam. And he is seven weeks away from being 85 rated. And that's on balance. If we go over to maybe Shadow Striker, improve his shooting. Is that a good idea? I think it is, actually. I, I do wish I could do his strength. But to do that, I would have to change his position. So centre-back, basically, just to give him a bit more strength. I mean, <laughs> or defensive midfielder, I guess. It, it could be worth doing. I mean... His shooting is already good. I, I do use him in a deeper role. So maybe... I know it sounds mad, but maybe this is the right thing to do. If I could get his strength to, say, 60, 65, that would make a big difference. This is mental, but I'm going to do it. 
I'm actually going to do it. Of course, I'm never going to convert him to a CDM in any way. It's going to take 173 weeks, but I do want his defending and his physical to be better. So it actually makes sense. But anyway, time to play mid-table Aston Villa. Literally mid-table. They are in 10th place. Let's get it. Once again, we face Emi Martinez. A very good Aston Villa side. There's no reason why they couldn't absolutely smash us here today. But uh, based off the last performance, I'm feeling all right. But then again, I could play like I did against Man City. I hope, I hope, I hope for our case not, because that would be terrible. Uh, West Ham won again, by the way. So they have gone two points clear of us again. We have a game in hand. So win today. We go back into fifth place. I've given away the ball already. So good start. There we go. Smith Rowe. In for Basuma, maybe. Oh, we've got it back. I really wanted to get that to Basuma. Here he is now. I'm going to go on the right side. Loads of space for Tomiyasu. Trying to get on that right side. He's still going here. Surely not. No! I want to score with Tommy, please. Please, game. He's offside. I can't, I can't give it to him. Does he come back on? Yes, he has. Oh, he's not going to score, though. Why am I trying so hard? It'll come naturally. I will score with Tommy Asu at some point. But uh, maybe not there. <laughs> just trying to run through their defence. It's just not going to happen. He's a great player. But with the ball at his feet, Tommy Asu is not the best player to be dribbling around with. Here's Ashley Young. He's just turned the other way. Wasn't expecting that. And we almost conceded. Luckily, Ramsdale's there. Here is Smith Rowe. He could have been playing for Aston Villa. Remember, they made a bid, didn't they? So glad we kept him. That would have been a massive mistake. Here's Erdegaard. Bissouma. Try and get that in for Aubameyang. Oh, Tuan Zebe read it. He read it very well. Oh, no. Here's El Ghazi, I think that is. Up against Ben White. Okay, he's played it backwards. And then they've just hit it out. Not great from Aston Villa so far. I've been a little bit disappointed. I thought they'd be doing a bit better by now. But it's a good thing. Put that over the top. Go on, Smith Rowe. That's yours, mate. Okay, maybe not. Oh, oh, no. Definitely not. I've spoke too soon, haven't I? Oh, Ramsdale, you absolute legend. Brilliant goalkeeping. It's going to be a corner. I spoke too soon. Why am I saying things like, oh, I'm disappointed with Aston Villa? Why would I say that? I want to be disappointed with them. I don't want them playing well against me at all. They might score here instead, though. Bailey, nope. Gabriel's there. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Aubameyang. Oh, no. I couldn't find the pass. Still going with Smith Rowe. We have to play this one backwards, unfortunately. We still have a few minutes left here in this first half. Let's not concede right before the break. Try and get a tackle in with Partey. He's giving it to Cash, who, by the way, could play for Poland, I believe. They're doing the paperwork. Uh, apparently, Matty Cash. Is his first name Matty? I think it is, isn't it? Someone in his family. I think it's, it's his mum. Might be his dad. They're Polish. So technically, he can play for Poland or England. I think go for it, man. Well done, Tommy Asu. I think he should definitely do it. He's never going to get into the England team with all the right backs we've got. But that is a disappointing first half from both teams. It's been a really messy game, to be honest. I just saw at half time that every single other Premier League game on right now is nil-nil. There hasn't been a single goal in the first half in any of these games today. That is... Crazy. I'm sure there'll be a couple of goals. Here's one in the top right corner. It is Watford scoring against Everton. Got some defending to do here. Oh, how many bounces do you need? Oh, it's just typical, isn't it? Typical FIFA goal. I just couldn't get this clear. Just bouncing everywhere. Look at this. Wow. Okay, we need to get two goals now, which doesn't look likely at the moment. We are not playing well enough. I can't keep up with Bailey. He's so good. Would have loved to have signed him. What was it? 30-something million. Absolute bargain. And now they're bringing on Buendia, a player that we were looking at, funnily enough. I am thinking about going to the 4-2-3-1 shortly, though. I think Erdegaard needs to be pushed forward a little bit. First, we've got some more defending to do. That's going to be a penalty. Oh, my God. I didn't even press tackle. I was jockeying. I was simply holding the left trigger and just blocking any passing line behind him. And he's just stuck his foot into the back of him. Great. Fantastic. Bottom left. 
and he's hit the post. Oh my god, that is a huge let off. And now we can try and get Saka in behind Ashley Young. Oh, if I score from this, this will be this will be hilarious. Oh wow, what a bad pass. Luckily, we've still got it. Here's Erdegaard into a Bamiyang. Oh, he's so clunky now. 83 rated. Oh, it's so sad. It's crazy. That's the lowest he's been probably since he was like, what, 23 years old? Something like that. Aubameyang into Smith Rowe. Back to Aubameyang. Hit it. Straight against the defender. We need to make that change now because this is not working. 4-2-3-1 narrow. Saka on the right. Smith Rowe on the left. No, we are going to go with Pepe on that left wing. And then I think actually Bissouma is going to come out. And I'm going to bring in Lokonga for the, uh, the the rest of this game. We've still got another change if we want to. But hopefully the... Oh, no. Oh, he played it backwards. If he carried on running there, he's in. Oh, they're in anyway. Nope, they're not. Gabriel's done well there. Game over. Buendia as well. The new number 10 at Aston Villa. Doubles their lead. And that is game over. I haven't even been able to get my subs on. Just terrible defending. The ball over the top. Tommy Yasu was caught lacking. And Buendia scores with his head. I mean, after all the saves that Ramsdale has made this season, some of the absolute worldies. How is he not reaching that? I don't know. But unfortunately, guys, it is going to be a loss. I don't think I'm going to score two goals, let alone three to win this. It could get worse. They've got a corner here. It has got worse. <laughs> Bailey has scored a header now. I mean... I don't know. I don't know, guys. I've absolutely lost the plot here. We have thrown away what should be a pretty normal game where we just, just win. Just turn up, play some good football, win the game, take three points back, move on. Instead, we've come here... After a really good performance against Watford and just gone back to the City performance. Just all over the place. Look at this. I can't even get it in the box. Just shocking. We won't win anything if we play like this. Look at Bailey, man. He is so good. Man of the match by an absolute country mile. This guy has been all over Tierney. It's very rare I've found that Tierney gets bullied. But today... He has been. I'm not afraid to admit it. Tierney has been awful today. Go on, Saka. Come on. Consolation goal. Wow. Couldn't even get the pass through right. Don't deserve anything from this game, so I can't really complain. They missed a penalty as well. Could have been worse. Saka into Aubameyang. And again, can't, I can't even get the shot at Emmy. Emmy would have saved it anyway. What am I even thinking about? Just... Too poor today. Again. It is what it is, though. Referee blows his whistle. 3-0 loss to Aston Villa, and they deserved it. They really did. I need to stop these kind of performances from happening because it's shocking. Oh, and it's Liverpool next, isn't it? Oh, my God. Okay. Well, we are now three points behind City with a game in hand. Two points behind West Ham with a game in hand. So I'm guessing City won their game, but West Ham lost. So it's not all bad. Technically, we've still got a chance to catch up a little bit. Oh, look at that. Talking of catching up. Ronaldo is only one goal ahead of Torres. Only three goals ahead of Salah. Look at Bergvine and Son as well. Jeez, no wonder Tottenham have done well this season. But before that Liverpool game, in the next episode, here is a look at the table in full. Spurs are going to win the league at the moment. Please don't. <laughs> Just let's not do that. And then at the bottom, it is still Palace, Southampton and Norwich. Palace are done for. They're 10 points from safety with eight games to play. It's, it's just not going to happen, is it? Fair play to Brentford, man. Brentford are right up there. And who else is it? Watford, 12th. Yeah, I mean, fair play to them. Well, that's it, guys. A really, really poor episode just not good enough and the reason I'm stopping is because if I play Liverpool now I'm going to get decimated so the best thing to do is put the controller down I believe 
this is it until Monday, until the next episode. So I'm going to have a day or two to just reset and uh, hopefully we'll come back stronger because I can't play like that against Liverpool. Thank you for the support on this week's episodes. I really appreciate it. As you know, normally my upload schedule is weekdays at 7pm career mode. And then on the weekends, normally there's an Arsenal review, streams, all of that good stuff throughout the week as well. Um, so if it's a weekday, you can expect a career mode video at 7pm. If it's a weekend, maybe, maybe. But typically I do take those days away to do other things, other projects and stuff like that. But uh, appreciate all the support and the love and I'll see you on Monday for another episode.